do 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 so yes, Vlogmas is back and I'm going to be doing 12 days, which I think I did this a couple of years ago. I don't know, I've done 12 days before. 24 is just a lot. Today is actually Thanksgiving, so it's not actually December 1st, but I figured I would go ahead and vlog today because I want to have a couple of videos done beforehand so that I can make sure that I stay on schedule because I do also have my shop that I'm working on. It's Black Friday weekend. It's a little bit crazy right now. So this is the very first year that we are hosting Thanksgiving at our own house. We wouldn't have been able to last year anyway because we had literally just bought this house. And I think we hosted it one year when we were in California and both my parents and Alex's parents came. It's so nice now that we're close enough that family can just pop down last minute. This wasn't even really planned, but we decided last minute that we weren't able to go to Kingsport and so mom and dad were like, we'll come to you. So they got here last night and Blair came over and we just hung out as a family. We watched the Christmas Chronicles, which I don't say I would recommend. I don't think it was very good. But if you guys are wanting a good Christmas movie, The Princess Switch 2 just came out on Netflix and it is so cute. The first one was good too. I really liked the first one, but the second one is so much better. The plot is so good and I just feel like I just feel like it's a really cute movie. I definitely recommend it. And I would love recommendations from you guys on Christmas movies, either on Netflix, Hulu, or Disney Plus. If there are any new ones that have come out, I would love for you guys to leave me a comment with some recommendations. Or even if you have like an oldie but goodie that you feel like is a little bit less known, that's older, recommend that too. I feel like I wanna watch a Christmas movie every single evening, so I need lots of suggestions. So mom and Alex have already started cooking and Blair is going to come over in a little bit. Jelly is not here. She ended up spending Thanksgiving with her boyfriend. I think they're going skiing, so that's really fun. So it's just us and mom and dad are gonna stay through, I think Sunday and it's just nice to have family here. I think the next video is going to be my Christmas decor tour and show you all of the decor that we put out for Christmas but you might see some sneaks in this video as I go around the day. I mean, you can definitely see the tree behind me. I tried to put James in a festive outfit because he has so many Christmas outfits that I have bought him and uh, he only wanted to wear his blippy shirt. So one exciting thing is we're bringing back the 12 days of giveaways. There's going to be a giveaway in every single Vlogmas video. The Vlogmas videos will go up every other day and there will be a giveaway in each one. All the presents under the tree that you can see back there are actually for you guys. I went shopping. It was so much fun to go shopping for 12 different giveaways and I went to lots of different places. There's lots of different types of prizes and giveaways. So it will work the same way it did back when I did this in like 2012. In each video, I'll pick a gift from under the tree. I'll open it up and show you guys what's inside. And then I'll tell you what to do to enter. Each giveaway will have two ways to enter. You can enter through YouTube and you can enter through Instagram. So you can have two entries per giveaway. And James, I'll have all of that information when we do today's giveaway. We just had a Zoom call with the entire side of the family on my dad's side. So all my aunts and uncles, my grandmother, my cousins, my one cousin's little baby that I don't think I'd ever seen on video. Just so cute. It was so much fun. I got like a tiny clip of them saying hi just to show you. Also, I was corrected. Jelly is not on a ski trip. It got canceled because of COVID, which makes sense. So she's actually just home alone, which is really sad. I wish she had just driven up last minute, but I think, you know, she just probably felt like she wanted to stay there, but I feel bad for her now. I wish she was here. All right, we have some corn casserole going in here. This is just the staples that we have every single year. We have green bean casserole, which is my favorite. We have... That's the start of the sweet potato. Some sweet potato casserole that started that isn't finished. Carrot souffle, that's new. We've never had that. You know a baby James has been around when there's a line of toys, cars and gigines. The snow is falling down. I've been longing for this Christmas. When everyone's around to share this holiday. Yes, it's a time of happiness, a time of joy, but now this year is twice as 
special cause I'm hoping for us to fall in love in this winter wonderland Chilling by the fire as I'm trying to get your attention Giving you a smile I can seem to look away the 12 giveaway gifts for this month's vlogs and we're just going to pick one at random i am going to just do this one right in front so this is the giveaway for today's video and inside of it first we have this blush pink instax mini 11 i think this is such a pretty color and alex absolutely loves taking polaroids of the family it just feels so retro and nostalgic he uses it all the time and when i saw this blush pink color i was like that would make such a good gift and to go with it we have a box of the film and this one's really cool because it has like a pastel ombre border around the pictures. I just thought that that would be really fun and just something a little bit different than getting plain white. So that is the giveaway for today. All right, it's the next day now. My family ended up going back home because Jelly was meant to be on a trip, but the trip got canceled because of COVID. So mom and dad were not comfortable with leaving her in the house alone. So they went back. Alex has a ton of music videos scheduled over today and tomorrow. So he's actually shooting three videos. He's gonna be in two of them and then he's shooting one for somebody else. So there's going to be a lot going on today and tomorrow. So I'll film little clips of it, but I'll probably have to put it to a montage because I don't want to actually play the music and get like copyright struck because I use royalty free music when you guys hear music in my videos. Me and James will just be hanging out behind the camera watching daddy. James loves seeing Alex film videos. So it's just going to be fun for him. So the piano is in the front room. Usually it's here, but they moved it out for the video and it looked really cool. So this is the state of my house currently. Cold night, but warm inside already said a little breath. the camera and watched daddy film his video mm -hmm. and now he has a couple of hours before the next video is going to be shot so we have a pizza in the oven mm -hmm. we're watching big brother james is running around a lot of you guys ask me what alex does for a living because he obviously has a youtube channel but people still ask he's a musician he's a music he produces more now than he used to Music but producer. Music producer. It's not obvious, but I actually am credited in everything. Like, my name appears on the metadata and credits of everything. He does do a lot of videos, and he does a lot of videos with other people and for other people and on other channels. So even if you're subscribed to his YouTube channel, you don't see, like, all the stuff he does. But he stays really busy, and so do I. So together, we are just... Busy. I feel like I want to talk a second about the show Grey's Anatomy. I don't know if you guys watch it anymore. I know it's on its like 17th season. I started watching it when I was in college and it actually still brings me back whenever I hear the like intro theme song. It makes me think of rushing my sorority because we were watching Grey's Anatomy when that whole thing, when we were rushing and it just like associated in my brain. After 17 seasons for them to take a real life pandemic and use it as a way to kill her off. Like I'm really not happy with it. I'm struggling with it. Um, I feel like it's just too real. And I got really emotional in the last episode. Oh my gosh. And the fetus that was attached to the liver, like it was a hard episode for me, but Anyway, hopefully Meredith won't die from COVID because that would be a lot. What do you need, sweetie? 
You hear this? I know, the, the two of you, you guys have asked me why I film in my bathroom a lot, and this is why, because the house is always chaotic with James and Alex wandering around, and the bathroom is nice and tucked away, and it's quiet. It's like MySpace, you know? MySpace, lol. Alex has a MySpace shirt on. Uh -huh. Also, I have a book recommendation for you guys. I started reading a book called A Ripple in Time. It's the first of three books and I'm on the third one now. It's so good. It is about an airliner in 2020 that goes through like a weird storm and they end up back in 1720 in Charlestown before it was called Charleston. And it's basically about how modern people have to adapt to life in the 1700s and it's just really really good i have been enjoying it i am on the third one like i said and i just thought i'd recommend it it has pirates it has like colonial time stuff it's good i thought i'd recommend it i think it's on kindle unlimited the second and third one are definitely for free on kindle unlimited i can't remember if i paid for the first one or not